All right, guys, Rooster here in Tennessee. Got a video for you here today. A uh, special item we're looking at is a 4CX800 Russian uh, tube GU74B. It's the Russian 4CX800. Uh, this is a bass amplifier. It does run on 220, 240. Um, I'd recommend, you know, 20 amps or so at least to run it. Dedicated line. Uh, this is made by Joe the Grinder down in Alabama. Uh, tuners here in the front, two tunes. It has a tuned input in the back, which we'll get around to. The amp is on right now. You can't hear it running because it has an internal blower, and it runs extremely quiet. Um, extremely quiet. Uh, features of the amp, power on and off, a high and low switch. If you flip it to the middle position, it's on standby. Almost forgot that when I hooked it up. I thought, what the hell? He didn't put a standby on it. But uh, he did. He, it's just in the middle here. Then all the way down is on low. Uh, variable carrier, or variable carrier, variable power over here. If you want to fine tune the amp, you know, if you can't get the desired power on high or low, you need something in between, you can use this to, to dial it in. Uh, tune and load, you know, basic tuners. Tune this thing for peak output. Uh, that's how I tuned it. I tuned it on peak since I do have my peak meter in here. Um, we are in here on my uh, my table that I usually have my, my beam set up on, my main setup. Obviously, I'm doing some upgrading, so there's a lot of missing pieces right now. But that's my Cobra 1000, Superstar 507 mic. Uh, my rotor box is covered up over there, but a handy pair of scissors just in case I need to cut somebody's radio off. Just kidding. Anyway, uh, 4CX800, we're going to do an output test on it. It is for sale, and I have talked to a guy that I might be working a deal with. I don't know um, if it's going to go through or not. So it's not pending necessarily, but I do, I do have to talk to him um, and see. But this one is for sale. Now, it's coming at a discounted price because I don't know whether you can see it or not. You can see it there in the camera. It's got a ding in it from where it was shipped doesn't hurt the functionality of the amp at all you can't see it when you're looking at the front of it but over here it does have a ding on it that is one reason why we don't like to ship these amps because no matter how well you pack them you can double box them you can do whatever uh you know sometimes things shift around you know these guys throw these boxes and it's hard on an amp even if you pack it good all the jumping around and you know throwing it off the back of a truck um it's hard on them but uh, anyway, I've got my Cobra 1000 hooked up, and uh, it does about 10 watts average. I think this amp was set up for about uh, 10 and a half, 11 watts average. So we're going to see close to the right output uh, with this Cobra 1000 going into it. Um, that being said, I want to get into that a little bit. I've talked about it on these low drive tubes before. The tube in this amp is referred to as a tetrode. Uh, that basically in layman's terms is a, a low drive tube triodes are high drive tetrodes are traditionally tra traditionally excuse me low drive so when grinder builds these amps he sets them up for a specific output and he just uses average power to set them up so when you have one of these built you know he'll say uh you know how much how much bird average is your radio doing and you know it's whatever uh, 10 watts average, okay. Well, we're going to custom build this amp for a 10 watts average radio. Any less than that, you'll see a little bit less power. Any more than that, you risk damaging the amp. Now, I want to be real specific on that. Some people think, oh, I can get away with it. It's, it's only doing 2 watts more average. 2 watts more average is a significant amount of power for this tube. Because if you don't pad the, pad the drive down, pad the input down to the tube, this tube takes like half a watt or less to get max output out of. So you have to pad that tube down to where, you know, we can use it for, for our purposes. Because if you don't, you know, you don't, there's not a radio out there that does that much power. So these amps are custom made for that. Now, that being said, if you stay within the parameter of this tube, I have seen these tubes take extreme abuse. Uh, I have seen guys dead key this tube at 2,000 watts, 2,500 watts, and it's only a 3,000 watt peak tube. So they will take a lot of abuse, but you have to stay within the drive parameter. 
very similar to the the new MOSFETs, the well not new, but the LDMOS. If you guys are familiar, the solid state MOSFETs, the uh, 1500 watt MOSFET. This tube is kind of the the same as it, except it's to, it's a tube, not solid state. Uh, very tough, very rugged, but if you overdrive it, I guarantee you'll blow it up. Just putting that out there. Um, but anyway, let's get on with it. I've rambled enough. That's five and a half minutes of me just talking. But I just have to put some imp important information out there before I do a video on the amp. Let's take a look at it up here. We've got our blower right here. Blowing out some nice air. Just lukewarm air there. Uh, tuned input on the back. Input, output. You do not need a foot pedal for this. You've got another vent over there. Again, it does run 220. You've got two fuses over there in the back and an additional ground if you have a ground, ground rod outside or something that you want to use. Like I said, tune this amp for peak output. Uh, let's see. We'll test it on average first. I've got a 10kW slug in here. We're going to test it on average power, so we're looking at the bottom scale. Uh, 20 is 2,000. That first large hash mark before 2,000 is 1,000. That's what we're going to be shooting for. We want to hit a thousand or better. Let's grab our mic here. Hello. Audio, 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 audio. Right on the front side of a thousand. Hello, test one, two. Hello, test one, two. Talking. 900 to a thousand. Audio. Just over a thousand. Slightly past a thousand. Four Roger, four Roger, four Roger, four Roger, four Roger. Audio. Hello. Dropped from about 3,200 volts to uh, look like about 2,800. All we're going to do, guys, go up here and go on peak. Still on the bottom scale. Hello, radio, one, two, one, two, 40 is 4,000, and that hash mark right before is 3,000. Hello, one, two, audio, 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 one, two, 3,100, 3,200, something like that. Now what we're going to do, let me back up here a little bit. Stand by in the middle, down to low. All right, we're on low, we're still on peak. Audio one two, audio one two, audio one two, audio one two, audio two KW. Hello one two, audio one two. Now let's turn it on average here. On low. Hello, five hundred watts or so, maybe a little better. Hello, audio. Hello. Audio. All right. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna turn it on high, and I'm gonna crank the variable down. Just see how low we can go, all the way down. Hello. Oh, you almost nothing. Golly, hello. Let's turn it up to twelve o'clock. We're still on average. Hello. Hello. A couple hundred watts. wide open shushing in at 1100 watts average things doing what it's supposed to do uh, trying to think what else there let's get a live radio check on it how about that hello what about out there 26 anybody got their ears on Hello, what about 26? I know somebody's out there listening. Hello, come in. Anybody got your ears on out there? Break, break. Don't make me go to channel 19. Oh, Lord. Break one nine for radio check. Let's 
10 Roger, appreciate the check. Y'all be safe out there. Y'all are disgraceful. Y'all made me go down to channel 19 to get a radio check. Alright guys, I guess that's going to be the end of our video here. The 4CX800 GU74B going to be sold discounted because of that, just because of that little thing. 10 4 when it's working, who is that? Uh, this is Bandit over here in Dallas. That rooster? Yeah, Bandit, this rooster. I just hooked up a uh, 4CX800, just testing it out. Well, you're 30 over in the valley near Dunlap. 10 Roger on 30 over. All right, man, I appreciate it. I'm gonna, I'm doing a little video on it here. I'm gonna wrap this video up and uh, put it on the YouTube. Okay, well, I always look at your videos, rooster. You're sounding good. 117 to Bandit. Rajo Bandit, well, you're going to be worldwide. You'll be on one of them videos. I'll have it posted up here in a minute. My little weak station, he probably can't hear me. Hey, six pounds over here. Sounding good, my friend. We'll catch you later. Okay, Lucy, you have a good one. 117, clear. Well, there you go. Appreciate it, Mr. Bandit. But uh, that's it, guys. I'm wrapping the video up. i got to make a phone call as soon as I get this thing posted. Um, but there, there it is. GU-74B 4CX-800 Russian Steel Hope you guys enjoy the video Catch you out there later Rooster in Tennessee See you bye